In this video, I'm going to show you the new way to take a blank site that looks exactly like this and with a little bit of effort, getting it to look like this, a fully customized and professional looking website. And I will also show you how to make this one right here, which is probably ideal for a restaurant, but it could be for any type of business. Obviously, I know this is Gordon Ramsay and not just some random chef. I'm talking about the new way to create fully functional Elementor websites with a minimal amount of effort and have it be customized as if a designer designed this website for you. And everything we're going to use is completely, absolutely, 100% Free. I know this might sound too good to be true, but it's true and I'm going to show you right now. So here's my empty installation. There's literally nothing here and here's the back end of the WordPress site. So first thing we need to do is add a free WordPress theme. You'll go to appearance, click on themes and then click on add new. We'll click on popular or you can search for the word cadence. It just so happens to be here at the top of the popular list right now. Click on install. Next, click on activate. Now the theme is active and this is what your website looks like. But obviously we're not quite there yet. So there's this notice right here that says install cadence starter templates. You can also go to plugins, add new and do the same search. But for convenience, I'm going to click right here to install this plugin. And then it's going to take me right here to choose the builder that I want to work with. In this case, I'm going to choose Elementor. Next, it pulls up fully designed websites using Elementor that we can add to our website with a single click. So let's go ahead and click into one right here. It's going to show me the website. And if I want to see the various pages of the website, I can click through these options. Now, let me show you the magical part. Unlike other templates that have all the fonts and the colors manually set, and it involves quite a lot of work to unset them to have something that you would want for your website site, we don't have that issue here. We get to do two things to customize this before we click import. We get to choose a color palette and these color palettes were actually put together by website designers. For example, there's some feminine style color palettes right here. When I click on it, it totally changes the look and feel of the entire website. And all these colors can be easily changed later, but it's nice that they're here from a professional website designer and I can choose any of these different color palettes that I might want. And it totally changes the entire look and feel of the website. There's even dark color palettes here to really have a different look and feel to the website. This one right here happens to be my favorite, but, but check this out. It changes the colors everywhere. Everywhere you see this color palette is applied. So you can choose one that has been professionally chosen for you, whichever one you want. In this case, I'm going to go with this one because I think it's just boss. I like the gold with the black, but you can choose whatever you want, but you're not done. The options continue. Next, you can change the topography, which is a fancy word for font across your entire website. And there's suggestions here that also have been suggested by website designers. So there's a variety of them here. And when you hover your mouse over it, it tells you what that font pairing is. For example, here's a very popular one right here called Playfair Display and the body font is Railway. You can see this has totally changed the look and feel of this website site wide. This is how it originally looked and this is how it looks when I make this selection. Now out of all of these, I really like this one right here. This happens to be my favorite font pairing right here and it changes across the entire website. So you're able to choose one of these pre-designed website templates, but you're able to just with a few mouse clicks, customize the colors 
customize the topography across the entire website. This saves you a massive amount of time and gets you closer to where you want to go, which is to have a fully designed website. So I like these here. I'm going to go ahead and click on full site. It just gives me the information to confirm. We're going to put this color palette. We're going to put this font pairings and all of this can easily be changed with a few mouse clicks later. You're not stuck with any of these settings. I'll click on start importing and this will just take a few moments to download and import and create your entire website for you all right it's saying it's finished for me it took about 30 or 40 seconds so i can click on view finished site right here and it's going to take me to the front of the website so i can see what i have to work with now and so far it looks great so this is all built using Elementor and we can easily use Elementor to change anything. So on this page right now, if I want to say change this image, I can click right here where it says edit with Elementor. Now when you're in Elementor, everything is point and click easy, drag and drop easy. If I want to change this, I can just click on it. I can change the text here or I can start changing the text here. The same goes for any bit of text, including the button that you see here. I can change the text of the button very quickly right here. Same goes for this image. If I don't want this image here, and obviously this would be the first thing you change, I'll click on the image image and I can click on choose image and let me choose a image on my computer. This right here is just an image I found on Google and then I went to this site to freely remove the background and that is how this image came to be. So I've chosen my image and I can click on insert media and there's my image. We can play around with some of the positioning. We can play around with some of the text, but the point is this is very simple to have and to customize. This looks entirely different than how it looked when we selected it because we've already with a few mouse clicks, customized the colors and the fonts. And we've already gone in and started editing some of the actual content on this page. It's very easy to do. So you would go ahead and do that throughout the site. If you want to change this image, you can easily change it. The text, everything is very easy for you to just point and click change. And it will just take you a little bit of time to change the images and the text. It's that easy. Now the cadence theme, the theme that we're using to do everything that you see is a full featured free WordPress theme. It features a drag and drop header builder and you can easily change these colors. Everything is done inside of the custom. Customizer. So let me show you that really quick. There's multiple ways to get into the customizer. I'm already on the home page, so I'll go ahead and click right here where it says customize. I do have a full tutorial on this theme, but let me just show you one or two quick things just so you know where they are. So your colors and your fonts are going to be under the general settings right here. So here's colors and you can see here is the color palette that I chose. So I can easily change any of these colors if I wanted. So the predominant color is this black color right here and then the accent color is this gold but if i wanted to change that i can just click on a color and change it to anything i want and guess what it changes site wide did you see i changed it in this one location and it's changed everywhere on this website it's so easy to do now it's reset let me show you the fonts just click on back click on topography and here I can change those font families and it changes across my entire website. So if I didn't want the Oswald headline font, even though I think it's awesome, you can just click right here and let's uh, search for a different one. We can use the Playfair display right here and then we get a totally different, unique feel to this website. And like I said, this changes everywhere not just this page you're viewing. So now let me show you the header builder. So I'm going to click on back and I'm going to click on back and right here I'm going to click on header. This area here is your header 
and this is a drag and drop header builder. So here are the different items that make up the header. You see this row here, I've got my logo navigation and the button. Say I wanted to move the navigation, I can easily just click, drag and drop. It's that simple and I've just moved the navigation. So each of these items have their own settings by clicking on the settings wheel right here and there's various settings for it. Now, right here are additional header items. If I want to put a search option in there, some social media icons, another navigation, I can easily do it simple drag and drop. Now, if you put a site on your site, if you restore one of these and you quickly discover that you wish you would have chosen a different one, it's super easy. So let's go build that restaurant website. So now I need to get back to the starter templates menu options. So I'm gonna hover over appearance and I can see it right here, it says starter templates. It's gonna take me right back in. So let's say I want this site right here. Let me go ahead and click on it and we can go through that same process of choosing different options, choosing different colors, choosing different fonts. So if I wanted to go with that same kind of font that I, or colors that I used a moment ago, I can go like that. I can try out the different colors and see which one that I want to use on this website. So I'll stick with the default colors on this one. The same goes for the fonts. I can go here and try the different fonts to find the one that works best. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the same one. Then I'm gonna click right here where it says full site and it's going to confirm my selections. I didn't select anything, but there's an option here that says delete previously imported site. I'm gonna to toggle this on. I'll click start importing and just wait for this to finish. All right, just like the last site, this took about 30 or 40 seconds. It says it's now done. So this goes and wipes everything out that was imported prior. So if you customize the page that was imported, it's now going to be gone. So I'll click right here, it says finish and view my site and you're going to see it looks exactly like what we just chose. Now these site templates are so flexible, obviously you're looking at this and saying, it's a real estate purpose type of website. We've got this image here and a picture of, an, of a real estate agent there and we have these different grids, but this is so adaptable to whatever you want to adapt it to because it's built with Elementor. So let's change this into a perfect website for any business. We're going to show a restaurant, the inside of a restaurant right here. And here we'll put a picture of the chef, which for any business that revolves around a personality or an owner, this would be perfect. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. So this big image here is in the background of this section. So I'll click here and then I'll click on style. And then there's my image. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Elementor, I'll link to a full tutorial video in the video description box. So I'm going to click right here where it says choose image. I'll click on upload files and I will choose an image from my computer. All right, there's the perfect image. I'll click on insert media and there we have it. It's the inside of this beautiful restaurant. Like I showed you before, you can click and change text, all the text that you want to have this make sense. Let's go ahead and change this image as well. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on choose image. I'll click on upload files and choose one from my computer. And there he is, Chef Gordon Ramsay himself. I'll go ahead and click on insert and I can go like this to preview it and it pulls back in my header. We have this gorgeous transparent header going on and this already looks fantastic. I mean, this looks way better than most of the restaurant websites that I have visited, especially with all this online food ordering and you have to go to their websites and they're just a complete embarrassment you could build this for a restaurant in probably an hour, two hours with their text and their images and have a beautiful and gorgeous looking website. Now there's one more really cool feature that I want to show you. And this is something that no other template pack can do or does. Check this out. We're gonna go back into the starter templates plugin, appearance starter templates. So I restored this one, but say I want wanted maybe one of the templates or the pages in one of these other sites 
it's very easy. Now, there are other solutions and other template packs that allow you to do that, but the problem with them all is like how I started this. If you import a single page from one of these others, it doesn't, the design does not adapt to your settings on your site. So it almost looks like it's totally foreign and doesn't belong on your site. It doesn't just inherit those settings and styles, but this does. Let me show you right now. So I'm gonna click back on the course website right here, and you can easily plug in any of the three big learning management systems into this theme, and it's gonna style it up instantly for you, and it's gonna look perfect. So on the bottom left, there's an option here that says single page. If I don't want this entire site, I'll click here for the single page, and now I can view those single pages and choose one. So say I like this contact page, or maybe I like this page about a training course. It doesn't matter, it's what you want. I can click on it, and I can look it over and say, okay, this is gonna be great. Now, when I click on this import button, and when I view it on my site, it's not gonna look like this, because when it's on my site, it's gonna use my font selection in my color selection. So you can see we've got these blues and we've got this topography here. Watch, I'm gonna click on start importing page. This actually imports really fast. It's actually already done. I'll click on finished and view page. Check this out. You're gonna see that it inherited the style that's already on my website. The fonts that I'm using, the colors that I'm using, it just looks like it naturally belongs on this website because of that. Now keep in mind that is something that no other template pack can do because they are not based upon a global color palette where everything is linked together as well as the fonts and there isn't this marriage between the theme and Elementor. Let me quickly show you that just so you know that it's here. When you're in the customizer, I showed you where you can set those colors, but you can also set those colors inside of Elementor. Let me go in there really quick. I'll click on edit with Elementor. And now that I'm in Elementor, any element in here that you want to choose a color for, for example, this button, let me click on it. I'll click on style and you can see the button color is linked to this global color palette that is synced with the theme. If I click here, you can see down here, these are all the colors that are inside of the theme. So I would link it and it's because of this linking that you can change colors and fonts site wide. Let me show you, if I click on the hamburger icon here and then I click on site settings right here and then I'm gonna click on global colors we can see the ones that Elementor puts in there by default, but check this out, it says theme global colors, and these colors sync with the theme that we just installed, and everything links together. And that's why this is the new way to make fully designed and custom looking Elementor based websites easier than ever. And I don't know if I went too fast, but at no point did you have to purchase anything, register anything. It was just a matter of clicking themes, choosing one, and then the ball was rolling from there fast, easy, and completely free. Now, obviously there's a pro version of Elementor that you can get. It's great. There's a pro version of the theme that we used. It's great as well, but the thing that I'm trying to do is to help as many people get online and have a website that they could feel proud of and not embarrassed to share with someone. And if you have that embarrassing kind of website to get rid of that and replace it with something better, that is my mission and my goal. Now, obviously this video wasn't a step-by-step, -step, here's how you start, here's how you get to the finish line. I'll make one of those videos and I'll put it in the video description box, a start to finish how to do this from having nothing, no hosting, nothing, to being having a completed website with web hosting and email address for your business from A to Z, and I'm gonna make it simple. So if you could do me a favor right now, hit the thumbs up button here on this video. If you have a question, leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer it. 
Thank you for watching this video. Try this out seriously, and I think you'll see why this is one of the most popular WordPress themes right now, because they're doing really cool things like this. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.